Hello students, welcome back to the third session. Today I will explain what are the domain and range of trigonometric functions and the graphs of trigonometric functions, six different trigonometric functions. Okay. First, I will take up the domain and range of trigonometric function domain and range of trigonometric function. In second chapter, I have studied the domain and range of many functions. What is the domain of the function? The domain of the function, any function y is equal to f of x is the set of all values of x where the function is defined. The domain of the function in general y is equal to f of x is the set of all values of x where the function is defined. From the definition of sine and cosine function, we observe that sine and cosine functions are defined for any real number. So, the domain of sine and cosine function are the set of all real numbers. We know in the last class we studied trigonometric functions or sine function sine 0 is equal to 0, sine 180 is equal to 0, sine 90 is equal to 1, sine 270 3 pi by 2 is equal to minus 1, it is equal to sine 2 pi sin 2 pi is same as sin 0, 0, sin 5 pi by 2 is equal to 1, sin 3 pi 0, sin 7 pi by 2 minus 1, sin 4 pi is equal to 0. So, if we take any real number, the values of sin x and cos x are defined. So, the domain of sin x as well as cos x is the set of all real numbers. Domain of sin x as well as cos x is the set of all real numbers because sin x and cos x are defined for all real numbers. Okay. So, the domain of sin x and cos x is R, the set of all real numbers. Again, we observe the value of sin x is less than or equal to 1 but greater than or equal to minus 1. Again, cos, the value of cos x is also less than or equal to 1, but greater than or equal to minus 1. So, the highest value of sin x plus 1, least value is minus 1. Similarly, the highest value of cos x 1, least value minus 1. So, the range of sin x as well as cos x is the set of all real numbers in between minus 1 and 1 including minus 1 and 1. The highest value of sin x is 1, it is at pi by 2. The least value is minus 1, it is at 3 pi by 2 and sin x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0, x is equal to pi k. So, the highest and least values of sin x as well as cos x is minus 1 and plus 1. So, the range of sin x as well as cos x is the closed interval minus 1 and 1. Remember, the domain of sin x as well as cos x is r domain of sin x as well as cos x is r, the set of all real numbers and the range of sin x and cos x is the set of all real numbers in between minus 1 and 1 including minus 1 and 1 because we know sin x and cos x are in between, the values of sin x and cos x are in between 1 and minus 1 including minus 1 and 1. One. The highest value of sin x as well as cos x plus 1, the least value of sin x as well as cos x minus 1. So, the range of sin x and cos x is the closed interval minus 1 and 1. Okay. Now, what is the domain of 
tan x. We know tan x in general sin x divided by cos x. So is tan x defined for all x where x is a real number? No. Tan x is defined for all values of x except cos x is equal to 0. So when cos x is equal to 0 for x equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. If x is an odd multiple of pi by 2, cos x is not defined. So what is the domain of tan x? Domain of tan x is the set of all real numbers except the real numbers x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. Set of all real numbers except minus this real numbers x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 where n is an integer. This is the domain of tan x. And the range of tan x is are uh, the set of all real numbers. We know the highest value of tan x students remember the highest value of tan x is plus infinity and the least value is minus infinity. So tan x varies from minus infinity to plus infinity. It is the set of real numbers. Minus infinity to plus infinity it is implies it's a set of all real numbers. So the range of tan x is r, the set of all real numbers. But the range of sin x as well as cos x is minus closed interval minus 1 and 1 because the highest value of sin x and cos x is plus 1, least value is minus 1. But tan x, for tan x highest value is plus infinity and least value is minus infinity. It implies the open interval minus infinity to infinity. It is nothing but R, the set of all real numbers. So remember students, domain of tan x is R minus the set of all x such that x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 where n is an integer. That means the set of all real numbers except x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. Okay. Now, what is the domain and range of cot x? We know cot x is equal to cos x divided by sin x. From the definition of cot x, we know cot x is equal to cos x divided by sin x. So, is cot x defined for all x? No. Cot x is defined for all x except sin x not equal to 0. So, when sin x is equal to 0, for x is equal to n pi, for all integral multiples of pi, sin x is equal to 0. Therefore, what is the domain of cot x is the set of all real numbers r minus x such that x is equal to n pi where n is an integer. Set of all real numbers except the real numbers x such that x is equal to n pi where n is an integer. What is the domain of the function? The domain What's the meaning of domain of the function? It is the set of all values of x where the function is defined, but cot x is not defined for sin x is equal to 0. When sin x is equal to 0? For x equal to n pi. For integral multiples of pi, sin x is equal to 0. So what is the domain of cot x? Domain of cot x is r minus the set of all x such that x is equal to n pi where n is an integer. And range of cot x is equal to r because the highest value of cot x is plus infinity, least value of cot x is minus infinity. Domain of cot x is r minus 
set of all x such that x is equal to n pi where n is an integer and the range of cot x is equal to r uh, the set of real numbers okay now what are the domain of secant and cosecant x we know by the definition of secant x we know secant x is equal to 1 by cos x so secant x is defined for all x where cos x not equal to 0 so cos x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 therefore domain of secant x is equal to the set of all real numbers except that is minus the real numbers x such that x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 so domain of secant x is r minus the set of all real numbers except the real numbers x such that x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 and what is the range of secant x since secant x is the reciprocal of cos x we know cos x takes the value in between minus 1 and 1 including minus 1 and 1 this is the range of cos x so what is the range of secant x secant x range of secant x is the set of all real numbers minus the real numbers in between 1 and minus 1 since secant x is equal to 1 by cos x secant x is the reciprocal of cos x we know cos x range of cos x as well as sin x is the closed interval minus 1 1 so range of cos x as well as sin x is closed interval minus 1 1 range of secant x is set of all real numbers except the real numbers in between minus 1 and 1 it is r minus open interval minus 1 and 1 is the range of secant x last one cosecant x we know cosecant x is the reciprocal of sin x cosecant x is the reciprocal of sin x so cosecant x is defined for all x where sin x not equal to 0 we know sin x is equal to 0 when x is equal to n pi where n is an integer so what is the domain of cosecant x domain of cosecant x is equal to r set of all real numbers except the real numbers x such that x is equal to n pi set of all real numbers x set of all real numbers r minus the real numbers x such that x is equal to n pi so this is the domain of cosecant x r minus the set x set containing x such that x is equal to n pi what is the range of cosecant x we know range of sin x is closed interval minus 1 and 1 the highest value of sin x 1 least value is minus 1 so range of sin x is closed interval minus 1 1 therefore range of cosecant x is the set of all real numbers except the real numbers in between minus 1 and 1 so since the range of sin x is closed interval minus 1 1 cosecant x being the reciprocal of sin x range of cosecant x is r minus open interval minus 1 and 1 so students what are the domain and ranges of six trigonometric function domain and range of all trigonometric function okay we know domain of sin x is r 
we know sin x is defined for all real numbers x so domain of sin x is the set of all real numbers and the range of sin x is the closed interval minus 1 and 1 what's the domain of cos x it is also our you know sin x and cos x sin and cosine functions are defined for all real numbers x so its domain is r and range of sin x as well as cos x is closed interval minus 1 and 1 because highest value of sin x as well as cos x plus 1 least value is minus 1 it can never be greater than 1 can never be less than minus 1 now what is domain of tan x tan x is defined for all x where cos x not equal to 0 defined for all x where except cos x is equal to 0 denominator can never be 0 so domain of tan x is r minus x such that x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 where n is an integer this is the domain of tan x r minus set of all real numbers except the real numbers x such that x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 and the range of tan x is r the set of real numbers what is the domain of cot x we know cot x is equal to cos x by sin x so cot x is defined for all x except sin x not equal to 0 so r minus the real numbers x such that x is equal to n pi where n is an integer so domain of cot x is the set of all real numbers except the real numbers x such that x is equal to n pi where n is an integer and the range of cot x is r the set of real numbers what are the domain and range of secant x secant x is equal to 1 by cos x so secant x is defined for all x except cos x not equal to 0 therefore domain of secant x is the set of all real numbers except the real numbers x such that x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 where n is an integer okay and the range of cos x a range of secant x is the set of all real numbers except the real numbers in between minus 1 and 1 Re set of all real numbers except the real numbers in between minus 1 and 1 so it should be open interval minus 1 and 1 last one cosecant x it's cosecant x is defined we know cosecant x is equal to 1 by sin x so cosecant x is defined for all x except sin x not equal to 0 so it is the set of all real numbers except the real numbers x such that x is equal to n pi where n is an integer so the domain of cosecant x is r minus the set of all x such that x is equal to n pi where n is an integer and the range of cosecant x is r minus open interval minus 1 and 1 both domain and range do, domain range of cosecant x as well as secant x is r minus the open interval minus 1 and 1 okay now let us consider the graphs of trigonometric functions that is graphs of six trigonometric functions that is sin x cos x tan x cot x secant x and cosecant x one by one first let us consider the graph of y is equal to sin x where x is an 
real number. We know the highest value of sin x is plus 1, least value is minus 1. So what are the values of sin x in quadrant angles? Sin 0 is equal to 0, sin 180 is equal to 0, sin 90, sin pi by 2 is equal to 1, sin 3 pi by 2 is equal to minus 1, sin 0 is 0, sin pi by 2 1, sin 180 pi that is equal to 0, sin 3 pi by 2 minus 1, sin 2 pi is equal to 0, sin 5 pi by 2 1, sin 3 pi 0, sin 7 pi by 2 1, sin 4 pi is equal to 0. So, the same values repeats for an interval 0 to 2 pi, 2 pi to 4 pi, 4 pi to 6 pi, etc. Similarly, the same values repeats for interval 0 to minus 2 pi, minus 2 pi to minus 4 pi, minus 4 pi to minus 6 pi, etc. So, what is the graph of y is equal to sin x? Now, if this is 0, we, can, uh, we denote angles in x-axis pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, 2 pi, 5 pi by 2, 3 pi, 7 pi by 2, 4 pi, Extra. Here it's negative, it's axis, it's minus pi by 2, minus pi, minus 3 pi by 2, minus 2 pi, minus 5 pi by 2, minus 3 pi. Extra. The highest value of sin x plus 1 least value of sin x minus 1, the highest value of sin x plus 1, least value minus 1. Now, sin 0 is equal to 0, so 0, 0 is a point in the graph. Sin 90 is equal to 1, when x is 90, sin 90 is 1, so pi by 2, 1 is a point in the graph sin 180 sin pi is equal to 0. So, pi 0 is a point. Sin 3 pi by 2 is equal to minus 1. Sin 3 pi by 2, when x is equal to 3 pi by 2, sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1. So, this is the point in a graph. Sin 2 pi is equal to 0. Sin 5 pi by 2, sin 5 pi by 2 is equal to 1, sin 5 pi by 2 is equal to 1, sin this 3 pi, odd number into pi, it is same as pi, even number into pi coincides with 0, odd number into pi coincides with pi 180. What is sin? 3 pi, sin 3 pi is equal to 0, sin 7 pi by, by 2, 7 pi by 2 is equal to minus 1, sin 4 pi is same as 0. Again, sin minus 90, what is sin minus 90 is equal to minus 1, sin minus 90 is equal to minus 1, sin minus 180, 0, sin same as minus 90, sin minus 90 is equal to minus 1, sin minus 180, 0, sin minus 2, 70 is equal to 1, sin minus 2 pi 
is same as sin 0, 0. Sin minus 5 pi by 2, it is same as minus 1 sin minus 3 pi 0. Now, what is the graph of sin x? Join all these points. Draw a smooth curve. It's not a straight line, but it's a smooth curve. Similarly, have this is the graph of sin x. The highest value of sin x plus 1 and the least value is minus 1. It can never be greater than 1, can never be less than minus 1. From the graph, it's clear that what is the domain of sin x? It is the set of all real numbers. We can take any real number, sin x is defined, and the value of sin x is always in between 1 and minus 1. The highest value of sin x plus 1, least value of sin x is minus 1. Okay. From the graph, it is clear that the domain of sin x is R, the set of all real numbers. We can take any real number here. Definitely, sin x is defined, and its value is always in between 1 and minus 1. So, domain of sin x is R, the set of all real numbers, and the range of sin x is minus 1 and 1. The graph. So, for this graph repeats for every interval 0 to 2 pi, 2 pi to 4 pi, 4 pi to 6 pi, etc. or 0 to minus 2 pi, minus 2 pi to minus 4 pi, minus 4 pi to minus 6 pi, etc. So, it is sin x and as well as cos x are periodic functions with period 2 pi. That means the value, the graph of sin x repeats for an interval of 2 pi. So, the same graph repeats for every interval 0 to 2 pi, 2 pi to 4 pi, 4 pi to 6 pi, etc. Okay. This is the graph of y is equal to sin x. Next, second one how to draw the graph of y is equal to cos x, y is equal to cos x, where x is any real number, where x belongs to R. Now, we know the values of cos x, cos 0 is equal to 1, cos 90 is equal to 0, cos 180 is equal to minus 1, cos 270 is equal to 0, cos 2 pi, it is same as 360 degrees, again 1, cos 5 pi by 2, 0, cos 3 pi minus 1, cos 7 pi by 2, 0, cos 4 pi 1, etc. Now, from this, we can see that the value of cos x is in between minus 1 and 1. The highest value of cos x plus 1, least value is minus 1. So, what is the graph of y is equal to cos x? y, x, 0, minus or x dash, y dash, let us uh, take angles in x axis pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, 2 pi, 5 pi by 2, 3 pi, 7 pi by 2, 4 pi, etc. Here, negative angles minus pi by 2 minus pi, minus 3 pi by 2, minus 2 pi, 
minus 5 pi by 2 minus 3 pi etc. Now, the highest value of cos x is 1, least value is minus 1. So, 1 and minus 1. Now, what is cos 0? Cos 0 is equal to 1. So, 0, 1 is a point in a graph. When, cos, when x is equal to 0, cos 0 is 1. Cos 90 is equal to 0. When x is equal to 90, cos 90 is 0. When x is equal to pi, cos pi is equal to minus 1. So, this is a point in a graph. Cos 3 pi by 2, 0. Cos 2 pi plus 1. cos 2 pi 1, cos 5 pi by 2, cos 90 is same as cos 450, that's equal to 5 pi by 2, cos 5 pi by 2 is equal to 0, cos 3 pi minus 1, cos 7 pi by 2, 0, cos 4 pi is equal to 1, cos 4 pi is equal to 1. Similarly, cos minus 90, cos minus 90 is equal to 0, cos minus 180 minus 1, cos minus 3 pi by 2 is equal to 0, cos minus 2 pi is equal to 1. Cos minus 90 equal to 0, cos minus 180 minus 1, cos minus 3 pi by 2, 0, cos minus 2 pi is equal to 1. Cos minus 2 pi is equal to 1, cos minus 5 pi by 2, 0, cos minus 3 pi is equal to minus 1. Let us join all the points. To a smooth curve, this is the graph of cos x. This is the graph of y is equal to cos x. From the graph, it is clear that cos x is defined for any real number x. So, the domain of cos x is R, the set of all real numbers, and the range of cos x is in between, the set of all real numbers in between minus 1 and 1. Cos x the value of cos x can never be greater than 1, can never be less than minus 1. The value of cos x is for any x a real number, the value of cos x is always in between 1 and minus 1, including 1 and minus 1. Cos 0 is equal to 1, cos 180, cos pi is equal to minus 1. So, it can take the values 1 and minus 1 including the real numbers in between minus 1 and 1. So, the domain of cos x, remember, so the domain of cos x is R, the set of all real numbers, and the range of cos x is the real numbers in between minus 1 and 1, including 1 and minus 1. That is the graph of y is equal to cos x. These two graphs are very, very important and it is a very important three mark question either to the, draw the graph of y is equal to sin x by x is a real number or to the, draw the graph of y is equal to cos x by x is a real number. Now, third function y is equal to tan x, tan 0 is equal to 0 tan pi by 2 is equal to sin pi by 2 divided by cos pi by 2, but we know sin pi by 2 is 1, cos pi by 2 is 0, so tan pi by 2 is not defined. Tan pi is equal to sin pi divided by cos pi, sin pi is 0, cos pi is minus 1, 0 by minus 1, it is equal to 0, tan 3 pi by 2 is not defined. So, 
tan 0 is 0, tan pi by 2 is not defined, tan pi is equal to 0, tan 3 pi by 2 is not defined, tan 2 pi is equal to 0. So what is the graph of y is equal to tan x? We consider it as x, y, y dash, x dash, okay. Take angles, x axis, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, and 2 pi, okay. 5 pi by 2, 3 pi, okay. minus pi by 2, minus pi, minus 3 pi by 2, minus 2 pi, minus 5 pi by 2, and minus 3 pi. Okay. Tan 0 is equal to 0. Tan pi by 2 is not defined. So when x is equal to pi by 2, tan pi by 2 is infinity. And so first quadrant, tan is positive in first quadrant. So the graph lies completely above x-axis. Second quadrant, in second quadrant, tan is negative. Tan pi is equal to 0. In second quadrant, tan x is negative. So the graph lies completely below x-axis. Tan pi is equal to 0. Tan 3 pi by 2 is not defined. Tan 3 pi by 2, so it's third quadrant. In third quadrant, tan theta positive, tan x is positive. So the graph lies completely above x-axis. In fourth quadrant, tan x negative lies completely below x-axis, tan 2 pi is equal to 0, tan is the first quadrant, in first quadrant tan x is positive, so the graph lies completely above x-axis, here second quadrant tan x is negative, okay. this is fourth quadrant, in fourth quadrant tan x is negative, so the graph lies completely below x-axis. This is third quadrant. In third quadrant, tan is positive and tan, zero, tan minus pi is equal to zero. In third quadrant, tan x is positive, so the graph lies completely above x-axis. In This is second quadrant, minus pi 2, minus 3 pi by 2. In second quadrant, tan x is negative, so the graph lies completely below x-axis. This is first quadrant. In first quadrant, tan x is positive. The graph lies completely above x-axis. So the graph repeats for every interval 0 to pi, pi to 2 pi, 2 pi to 3 pi. Similarly, 0 to minus pi, minus pi to minus 2 pi, minus 2 pi to minus 3 pi, etc. So this is the graph of y is equal to tan x. So from the graph it is clear that what is the domain of tan x? Tan x is defined for all x except x is equal to 90, x is equal to pi by 2, x is equal to 3 pi by 2, x is equal to 5 pi by 2. Similarly, tan x is not defined for x is equal to minus pi by 2, x is equal to minus 3 pi by 2, x is equal to minus 5 pi by 2, etc. So for all, tan x is defined for all x except for all real numbers except x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. For all odd multiples of pi by 2, tan x is not defined. So that is the domain of tan x. And what's the range of tan x? It is the set of all real numbers. So the highest value of tan x plus infinity, least value of tan x minus infinity. So it is nothing but the set of all real numbers. From the graph, it is clear the highest tan x takes the value plus infinity. If tan x takes the value plus infinity as well as minus infinity, so range is the set of all real numbers. Okay. That's a graph of y is equal to tan x. Now, what is the graph of y is equal to cot x? Y is equal to cot x. 
we know cot 0 is equal to cos 0 divided by sin 0, but cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0, so cos 0 is not defined. Cot pi by 2, cot pi by 2 is equal to 0 because cot pi by 2 is equal to cos pi by 2 divided by sin pi by 2, 0 divided by 1, that is 0, cot 180, cot pi is, e is not defined, cot pi is equal to cos pi divided by sin pi minus 1 divided by 0, it is not defined, and cot 3 pi by 2 is equal to 0. Cot 0 is equal to cot 2 pi, that's equal to 0. So what is the graph of y is equal to cot x? Zero pi by two, pi three pi by two, two pi five pi by two, three pi seven pi by two, etc. Minus ninety, minus pi, minus three pi by two, minus two pi, minus five pi by two, minus three pi. What is cot 0? Cot 0 is not defined. Cot pi by 2 is equal to 0. When x is equal to pi by 2, cot pi by 2 is equal to 0. Cot in first quadrant, cot theta positive, cot x is positive, so the graph lies completely above x-axis. Cot 0 is not defined. Cot 0 is not defined. In second quadrant, Cot theta is negative, so the graph lies completely below x-axis. Cot 3 pi by 2 is 0. Cot in third quadrant, cot theta positive, so the graph lies completely above x-axis. In fourth quadrant, cot theta negative, so the graph lies completely below x-axis. Again, cot phi pi by 2 is 0. Cot 2 pi is not defined. Cot phi pi by 2 is same as cot pi by 2. That is 0. So this first quadrant, in first quadrant, cot theta positive. So the graph lies completely above x-axis. The second quadrant, the graph lies completely below x-axis. This is the graph of cot x. When x is negative, cot minus 90, cot minus 90 is 0. Cot minus 90 is 0. In fourth quadrant, cot theta negative. In fourth quadrant, cot theta negative. So the graph lies. Cot 180 is not defined. Cot 180 is not defined. And in uh, third quadrant, cot theta positive. Fourth quadrant, cot theta negative. Second quadrant and first quadrant. In first quadrant, tan theta or cot theta positive. In third quadrant, cot theta negative. So this is the graph of y is equal to cot x. Now, from the graph, it's clear that what is the domain of cot x? Cot x is defined for all x except when x is equal to pi, when x is equal to 2 pi, when x is equal to 3 pi. Similarly, when x is equal to minus pi, when x is equal to minus 2 pi, etc. So cot x is defined for all real numbers except when x is an integral multiple of pi. So this is the domain of cot x. What's the range of cot x? Range of cot x is r. So the highest value of cot x plus infinity, least value is minus infinity. From the graph, it's clear. Okay. The highest value is plus infinity, least value is minus infinity. That is nothing but r, the set of all real numbers. Okay. So it's a 
graph of y is equal to cot x. Now, what is the graph of y is equal to secant x? Y is equal to secant x. We know secant is the reciprocal of cos cos 0 is equal to 1 therefore secant 0 is equal to 1 cos 90 is equal to 0 therefore secant 90 is not defined cos 180 cos pi is equal to minus 1 therefore secant pi is equal to minus 1 secant 3 pi by 2 is not defined secant 2 pi is equal to 1 so, what is the graph of y is equal to secant x? y, x, 0, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, 2 pi, 5 pi by 2, 3 pi, 7 pi by 2, okay. so minus 90, minus pi, minus 3 pi by 2, minus 2 pi, minus 3 pi, minus 5 pi by 2, minus 3 pi, x dash, y dash. Now, what is secant 0? Secant 0 is equal to 1. Secant 0 is equal to 1. So this point is there in the graph. Secant 90 is not defined, so when x is in first quadrant, secant x is positive, so it lies completely about, about 1. Secant 90 is plus infinity, and in second quadrant, secant theta is negative, cos secant pi is minus 1, Secant pi is minus 1. Yeah. In second quadrant, secant is negative, so the graph lies completely below 1. Secant 3 pi by 2 is infinity, it's not defined, but in third quadrant, secant is negative, so the graph is. But secant 2 pi is 0, secant 2 pi is 0. 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi, it's fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, secant theta positive. So the graph lies completely above 1. Secant 5 pi by 2 is not defined. Same as 5 pi by 2. Secant 5 pi by 2 is not defined. And first quadrant, in first quadrant, secant theta positive. Second quadrant, secant 3 pi is same as minus 1. Secant 3 pi is minus 1. This is second quadrant. The graph lies completely below this. So secant 7 pi by 2 is same as secant 3 pi by 2. So it's not defined. Again, when x is negative, minus pi by 2. It's same as secant 3 pi by 2, same as secant minus pi by 2. It's not defined. Okay. Again, secant pi minus pi is equal to minus 1. Secant minus pi is minus 1. Okay. So this is fourth quadrant, secant theta. In fourth quadrant, secant theta uh, negative. The graph lies completely below this first quadrant. Uh, in fourth quadrant, secant theta is positive. In third quadrant, secant theta negative. In second quadrant, secant theta negative. Okay. But secant 2 pi minus 2 pi is same as secant 0, that is 1. Pi is equal to minus 1 secant. Uh, this is third quadrant. In third quadrant, 
zero to minus pi by two fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, second theta positive. So the graph lies completely above one. Okay. So see this third quadrant. In third quadrant, second theta negative, second x negative. So the graph is below this. Okay. So in second quadrant, second theta positive. In second quadrant, second theta negative. So the graph is like this. First, uh, first quadrant, second theta positive. So the graph lies like this. Okay. The same graph repeats. Okay. This is the graph of y is equal to second x. From the graph, it is clear that what is the domain of second x? It's a set of all real numbers except the real numbers 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. For when x is pi by 2, second pi by 2 is not defined. When x is 3 pi by 2, second Pi, uh, second x is not defined, and x is 5 pi by 2, second x is not defined. So there are infinitely many angles where second x is not defined. They are x is equal to n, 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. For any odd multiples of pi by 2, second x is not defined. That is the domain of second x. What's the range of second x? It is the set of all real numbers either greater than 1 or less than minus 1. The set of all real numbers either greater than 1 or less than minus 1. It is the set of all real numbers except the real numbers in between minus 1 and 1. From the graph, it's very clear that the values of second x is either greater than 1 or less than minus 1. This is the domain and range of secant x. So this is the graph of the function y is equal to secant x. Last function, y is equal to cosecant x. What is the graph of y is equal to cosecant x? Now, we know cosecant 0, it is y, x, cos 0, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, 2 pi, pi pi by 2, Three pi minus pi by two minus pi minus three pi by two minus two pi minus three pi stash pi dash. Cosecant 0 is 1 by cos 0. Cosecant 0 is not defined. Cosecant pi by 2 is equal to 1 because it's a reciprocal of sine pi by 2. It's equal to 1. And cosecant pi by 2 is not defined. So the graph lies completely above this. So cosecant 90 is equal to 1. Cosecant 0 is not defined. Cosecant 180, since sine 180 is equal to 0, cosecant 180 is not defined. Cosecant 270 is equal to minus 1 because sine 270 is minus 1, this is third quadrant. In third quadrant, cosecant x is negative. In fourth quadrant, also cosecant x is negative. Cosecant x, cosecant 3 pi by 2 is minus 1. Cosecant in second, third quadrant is negative, so the graph lies completely below. Here, again, cos in cosecant in fourth quadrant negative, so the graph lies below minus 1. Cosecant 
phi pi by 2 is plus 1 and plus 1. So first quadrant, the graph lies completely above here, above 1 because because in first quadrant cosecant x is positive, in second quadrant also cosecant x is positive. Okay. Similarly, what is cosecant minus pi by 2? Cosecant minus pi by 2 is minus 1. Cosecant pi is it's a third quadrant. In third and fourth quadrant, cosecant x is negative. In third and fourth quadrant, cosecant x is negative. The second and first quadrant in cosecant 3 pi by 2, minus 3 pi by 2 is same as cosecant pi by 2 plus 1. Third and fourth quadrant, cosecant, this is second and first quadrant, the graph lies completely above like this. Okay. So this is the graph of y is equal to cosecant x. Okay. From the graph, it is clear that what is the domain of cosecant x? It is the set of all real numbers except the real numbers x is equal to n pi. So cosecant x is not defined when x is equal to pi, when x is equal to 2 pi, when x is equal to 3 pi, or when x is equal to minus pi, when x is equal to minus 2 pi, etc. So for integral multiples of pi, cosecant x is not defined. So the graph the domain of cosecant x is the set of all real numbers except the real numbers x is equal to n pi. Okay. Similarly, the range of cosecant x is r minus open interval minus 1 and 1. That means the values of cosecant x is either greater than 1 including 1 and less than minus 1 including minus 1. So, the set of all real numbers except the real numbers in between minus 1 and 1. That is the graph of y is equal to cosecant x. So, domain is r minus set of all x such that x is equal to n pi where n is an integer and range is r minus open interval minus 1 and 1. Okay. These are the graphs of trigonometric functions. In that, in these graphs, the graph of sin x and cos x, cos x are very, very important. They are three mark questions. Okay. Draw the graph of y is equal to sin x, where x, is, x belongs to r, or draw the graph of y is equal to cos x, where x is uh, any real number.